Um, we are very fortunate to have a great relationship um, with a Nevada Department of Wildlife and Nevada Department of Transportation. We've been working collaboratively the last few years, about the last decade, on getting some of these areas where deer were getting hit very frequently on our highways and creating a safer way for the deer to get across um, so the deer can get to their winter range and people can get safely um, on their travels uh, without having to worry about hitting deer. Um, behind us is one of the wildlife overpasses. Um, it is meant for the uh, deer to just, it's just got dirt on top. Um, they travel right across of it. As you notice, the, the vehicles go safely underneath it and they get where they need to go. Um, it's super important this time of year for deer to get from summer range to winter range so that they can make it through our tough winters and, uh, and then get back to summer range to have, have their young. It's uh, so we're in northeast Nevada um, today, and some of the deer in, in northeast Nevada have the longest migration routes because our uh, winters are a little bit tougher up here, and so our deer need to go a long way to get into more mild climates for the winter. Um, area 6, Area 7, and Area 10 have some of the longest migrations, and some of those have been over 100 miles that we've uh, documented um, through collars that the deer wear, and we can tell how far they've gone and, and how fast, and they do it quite quickly, sometimes within just a matter of less than a week they can get from summer range to 100 miles away on winter range. Um, these locations are uh, not by accident. Um, we uh, noticed where deer were getting hit uh, most frequently. DOT would tell us where, where most of the collisions were happening and uh, we worked with, um, so with that, knowing where the deer naturally want to go and have for decades, um, then looking at those spots, plus looking at um, working with the engineers of where the best locations would be to build these structures to where they could be structurally sound and in the correct place that the deer already want to go. Um, we put up the uh, large, um, most people will notice there's exclusionary fencing, and that's just up to funnel the deer so they can safely find the crossing and get their way across. So a few years ago, there was a graduate student that uh, did a project up here, and she documented as many as uh, 1,500 deer um, using the HD crossing and as many as 4,000 deer at this crossing on Highway 93. Um, the ones on uh, I-80 on Pequop are fairly new, so we haven't got numbers there yet, but between uh, this crossing and the one on HD, maybe up to 4,500 a deer per migration that are no longer on our roadways.